Hello everyone and welcome back to my intergalactic trek in Elite Dangerous and the first thing I want to check out in this episode is somebody mentioned that repair all doesn't really repair all and so even though it shows hull 100% and it looks like my ship is in perfect order the word was check repairs and indeed there is this thing called ship integrity that's only at 95% and costing 73 credits so that's a nasty sneaky thing uh, why that wasn't really clear and why that isn't uh, covered by repair all I have no idea I mean when when I say all I mean all but okay thank you for mentioning that I, I forgot the name of the person who mentioned that uh, there are other things that people have mentioned that have been very helpful and I hope you guys continue telling me all these things um, Right now, the goal for this episode, uh, rather than going as fast as we can across, and we haven't really been going as fast as we can, let, let me make that clear, I can go much faster uh, to cross the galaxy, um, but I'm a little bit nervous because I don't think my ship is up to snuff in terms of trying to get across the galaxy safely, and so I want to amass some credits, and we're already at the point where opportunities for credits seem to be drying up. Um, you can see uh, this place has a uh, supply of hydrogen fuel but no real place to trade it with and its trading partners seem lacking in terms of where it can get stuff looks like the only place it can get stuff from is Pegua Pig, well something like that anyway uh, I'm not carrying bio waste so yeah, uh, it's a little bit distressing, the situation. One thing that we can still sell pretty well is cartographics. So maybe that's the thing we need to do around here, is uh, get some cartography done. Which means more exploring, after all, which is what I'm mainly doing. And focus on that. But uh, maybe we should head to uh, Piegua, or Pegua in order to grab some stuff for this location. Let me try that out. Uh, let's do some good old-fashioned trading. See if we can bring something over here. Alright. So, uh, with that goal, it looks like Pi uh, Piagua is a place that we can explore. It says unknown in the bottom left-hand corner there. So, good. Now we uh, two things at once. Maybe it's like Piegua. Something like that. Try to still figure out how to pronounce the system's name. All right, uh, landing gear up, and let's go forward a bit. And jump. Uh, okay. Wonder how those got extended, but now let's go. Okie dokie. So now let's uh, do some exploration. And let's give a pulse out. Seven. Okay, good. So we're going to get some cash out of this. Looks like an F type, maybe. Yeah, probably an F type star. Yep, F type. Alright, now. I think these are just uh, little asteroid belts or stuff like that. This seems like a planet of some sort, is it? Pegua 1. What kind of a thing are you? You're pretty close to your star, aren't you? It doesn't look like a gas giant like I've been uh, looking for. I've been looking for a gas giant close to the star. It looks like a pretty normal rocky planet. Let's see if it has any moons. Up, 
two new. Okay, fine, good. Doesn't look like those are moons, but that one has a station around it, so let's go over there. You don't seem to have any moons, do you? Okay. At least 101 light seconds seems pretty far away for a moon. Okay, what sort of thing are you? Doesn't give me an image there. Well, you're another planet, I suppose? Though I don't see a little image of you. I guess we're still too far away for an image. But you are the third planet in the system. And more importantly, you have a dock. So I'm going to head for that dock instead of the planet itself. Isn't that a rocky planet? Okay, Grandin Hub, what sort of station are you? I can't really get a good sight of you right now. I've all, all I've got is an exclamation mark. And there's a lot of aliasing on you. Is that pad number one? Yeah, okay. Landing gear deployed. Nice and docked. Alright, so let's see what you've got. Refuel all. Did we actually take any damage there? Let's see, repairs. Uh, so one, one credit worth of hull integrity. Paintwork for some reason got damaged. Confirm. Okay, well... Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. So, we're gonna have to watch that ship integrity thing. Because that might come and bite me when I'm trying to go on a long distance without any stations around. Vegu assistance is worth a lot. But we'll have to travel a while to sell it. We haven't even uh, found everything here yet. Okay, so we need to bring some supplies to the Akali system. Okay, there we go. Polymers, semiconductors. I, I can carry semiconductors. It's a short distance anyway, so I think I can load up completely. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Right. Oh, maybe superconductors would have been better. Ah. Well, we'll do a few trade runs, probably. Anything we can do to Aquili? Covert help, maybe? No, you want non-lethal weapons and you're not giving me any money. You're not giving me any money. Naval progression, I don't know what the good of that is. Unobtainable. Alright. No need for unobtainable things. Let's check outfitting around here. Don't have too much hope that they've got good stuff here. Just an industrial outpost. Still don't have any use for these utility mounts. Anything interesting this time? Kill warrant scanner, electric countermeasure, cargo scanner. Nothing. Nothing I want. Are there better cargo racks somewhere? Maybe uh, 16? Oh, these, these are not things that I need. 
Let's see, there's that intermediate discovery scanner. It's got an advanced discovery scanner for 1.5 million, which we're way off from. And then uh, detailed surface scanner. That that looks like something I can aim for. Hmm. Yeah. But I'll have to find a place to put it. Then again, once we leave the populated centers, I guess I don't need a cargo rack. So yeah, that would be an obvious place. So we'd replace the basic dis discovery scanner with the advanced discovery scanner, and probably replace the cargo rack with uh, with the detailed surface scanner, something like that. Right. Well, uh, maybe if we're if this sort of uh, ship integrity stuff, maybe I should improve my shields. Is there better shields around here? people. Maybe that'll help uh, preventing us from having more damage to our ship integrity. And of course we're gonna be fuel scooping so that's another issue. Our current shield generator is E class I believe. Uh, not E class, E rating. And uh, this is a D rating. This shield generator seems to be uh, net improvement, though it uh, uses more power. Integrity A. Uh oh, I don't like the integrity A. What does that mean, though? Oh, okay, so this is a lighter shield generator, and the benefit that is that it's lighter, but it draws more power and it actually isn't as good as what I've got right now. This one increases the integrity, uses more power, but it's heavier. Ah, uh, okay, um, what kind of frame shift drive? Oh, we've got frame shift drive improvements. What can we do here? Ooh, much better. B, that B gives us a lot of stuff. Uh, since this, I, I don't think there's any drawback in selling, uh, in switching out and then uh, just upgrading at will. So I'm just gonna upgrade to D right now. And I. My shield generator. Nah, going for this one. Uh, the integrity improves, but. But I don't want to go there just yet. Alright. So we're one step up in terms of frame shift drive, but we're gonna aim for higher on that as well. Alright. Let's just go ahead and head back to the Gamma Acolyte system and do the trading that I was gonna do. But uh, first of all, I'm gonna do some more exploring around here. We've got a lot of unexplored stuff here, so. First things first, let's lock destination for that. Navigation beacon. I wonder if there's something interesting there. Uh, but the, let's uh, finish exploring first and then I'll go over there. And then maybe on the next trade run between Piagua and uh, Gamma Aquili, I'll check out this Newman terminal. Okay, so right, let's head out. Okay, what are you, unexplored object? Okay, that's be a good too. And once we get close enough, I'll give it another pulse to see if it has any moons or anything nearby. So, what sort of thing are you, be a good too? Still don't have a little icon of you on the bottom left there. Okay, looks vaguely Venus-like. Nothing surprising here. Oh, one new object. This place is full of surprises. Okay, there's a fourth planet. Oh, we've got a bright transient, I think. Two bright transients, okay. Up. 
Looks like a very bright sort of thing. And there's Newman Terminal. Nope, I guess it's just a high albedo planet. I don't think those are sunspots or anything. Nope. Just another rocky planet. Bright though. Alright. Well, I'm so sort of surprised there are a lot of planets in this one. Not I thought these were gonna be mostly little belts of rocks, but this next one is uh just a belt of rocks. Probably the next few will be. There is an asteroid belt on this thing. So maybe all these are just uh asteroids. Okay, I think this is the last of the asteroid belts here. Uh, I've done a lot of these little belt clusters. Probably not all of them, judging from the... Fa I think 1, 2, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Oh, maybe I have, judging from the fact that we've only got up to number 10 there. Okay, that's number 11. Alright, 7 Gamma Akali, here we come. Okay, here we are, back to 7 Gamma Aquilae. And let's try this Francisco de Ameda platform. No, that's. No, it's about the same distance as the other platform. Alright. So, yes, let's try this one. I don't think we need to do any fuel scooping yet. We've been doing very, very short jumps. Maybe our new frameshift drive is also a little bit better. In terms of efficiency, I don't know. Okay, very bright, let's go. Oop, I had proximity to something. Up, up. Ah, da, da, da. Interdiction, interdiction. No wonder I had proximity to something. <laughs> uh, come on, come on. Whoa. Okay, continuing on our way. Thank you very much. Okay, Starport Services. First, let's sell some semiconductors. I'm curious to see what kind of price we get for these things. Obviously, not, not going to be too lucrative, maybe around 2000 hopefully. Let's see. Oh, we got 3000 for it. That's, that's pretty good. All right. But, oh, there's something to sell at Pegua. Okay. No, that's imported from. Darn. Well, you know, uh, since we're doing the whole trading thing, I should... I should really uh, increase the amount of... I'm not going to refuel. I can just do that on my own. Um, uh, but I do want to take a peek at ship integrity. To, it's costing two credits now. Um... Yeah, I wanted to maybe switch out the fuel scoop for some more cargo capacity so that I can do more trading. Uh, but it doesn't look like we can do that here anyway. How much did all that exploring at Pegua? Pegua. Oh, 7,600 credits, not bad. Okay. So maybe I can. Uh, maybe we should go somewhere else before heading to Pegua because then I can do some more exploring. I can't do any more exploring at. Happy going. 
don't know if any of these sectors, a lot of sectors nearby. This this one interesting one there. But let's take a look at the galaxy map to see if any of them are high class stars here. I just want to do one jump, get somewhere interesting. That's an F-type. That's within our jump range. Okay. Let's plot for that one. Right. Okay. So we'll explore this F-type star, and then we will go back to our trading. Okay, let's get a little bit closer to do some fuel scooping. But also I want to do some exploring. Let's give a pulse out here. Sixteen! Good, good. This is going to be a lucrative system as far as exploring is concerned. Okay, F-type as expected. Now, a little bit of fuel scooping, please. Don't want to get too close, otherwise I'm conscious of damage now. And right now it looks like our shields get down. Okay, so looks like speed does correlate with how much fuel you scoop. Okay. Let's see, what do we have to explore? That one first. Now, were there any... S well, let's let's do the basic stuff first, and then we'll talk about other stars that might be in the system. Whoa. And... That is another star in the system. That is two very, very, very close stars. A few light seconds apart? Holy mackerel. No wonder it's so hot around here. Okay, a yellow star and a F... Wow, look at that. That is... <laughs> that is close proximity. That's probably better than the... Than the... What you call it? A, a gas giant next to a star. That is... That is going to become a... Probably become a supernova or some something interesting very soon. But there's another star there, isn't there? Hold on. No, not this way. Yeah, wow, another star. Unexplored. Jeez, these guys are gonna supernova soon, probably. Whew, wonder what kind of interesting process leads to all of these guys being born so close to each other. Okay, what sort of a thing are you? A, B, C, 1. Huh. So it's actually orbiting three of the stars? Is that what A, B, C, 1 means? That's hilarious. Well, it looks like a pretty normal planet, considering it's got three suns to orbit. Let's see if that's really the case. System map. Uh, yeah, it's... I don't know. It's got this little X here. I don't know how they actually show stuff on here. Wow, oh, there's more stars, I think. Um, it irritates me that I can't use the scroll wheel to... or right click to pan this. They could really allow me to pan this using right click. That would be helpful. So I've, I've still got a few unexplored here. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, let's try and explore him. Okay, we're getting close to that thing's gravity well. Let's deflect over here. Let's see, if they're nearby, they should be real, relatively bright, right? Well, it doesn't look like they're in that arc. Let's see... That's pretty bright. In my estimation, uh, the two stars right there in front of us are the brightest in this area, but I don't know if they're the ones. Got a lot of stuff to explore except for new stars. No, I'm not feeling it from those two. Hold on a sec. Nope, I'm just not so good at this star hunting stuff just yet. Yeah, let me just go for the contacts that I've already got here. Okay, so there are still two stars that I can't access, and that's just because I'm impatient, probably. But I've uh, done all the bell clusters, and so I'm going to head now over to... Well... We're probably uh, Pegu is out of uh, range, so I'm gonna have to. Oh no! I want to go to Galaxy Map, and I'm gonna have to do two jumps to get to it. I wonder if uh, this Conborus is a good place to stop over along the way. No, I think that's going backward. No, well, no, it's it seems to be forward. But Pegu is actually in the other direction, is it? I don't even see Pegu. Uh, yeah, Pegu is like over here. We're going to have to go back through Gamma Aquilae to get to Pegula. What is this HR? Oh, an A-type star. You know what? Um, let me explore that first. And then I'll head... Oh, we've got a long way to go, huh? Well, that's interesting. Let me head to this system and explore the systems along the way. And then eventually we'll head back to Pegula do the trade, some more trading, and then eventually end up back at Gamma Aquiline. So I'll I'll meet up with you once I get through all these systems and we hit this uh, A-type star here. Okay? Okay, A-type star. Very bright A-type star, too. Wow. Ooh. Okay, uh, unexplored. Yes, that's what we wanted. It would have been a shame if it had been explored. Let's give a di uh, discovery scanner pulse. Uh, nothing else nearby. That's a shame. It'd be worth a lot more if there was stuff nearby. Um... How dangerous would fuel scooping be near this big guy? These are hot, hot stars, these A-types. See system map quickly. Nope, it's just this guy. Alright. Well. Alright, once we're all full up, we'll uh, head back over to our little trading circuit. And I'll do a bunch more trading. Please don't let the escape vector make me hit the planet. Please don't let the escape vector make me hit the planet. Come on. Oh, 
Okay, now where are we? Let's just slow down for a sec here. Okay, here we are, coming into Newman Terminal. A mining outpost that is anarchic. Okay. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. All right. Let's see if we're far enough to have uh, any of our exploring be worthwhile. Nope, but uh, got got some good credits here. Not a lot, but still got them. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the repair situation. This doesn't say anything. Refueling I'll do on the fly, but uh, let's see about this. Five credits now. Paint works a little bit iffy. Since when did we start uh, losing paint work anyway? Let's see. How about uh, what would? Okay, they don't have any thrusters. They do have a power plant. Ah, this one's lighter weight. Integrity's lower though. That one's better all around. Maybe I'll just wait till get to get that one. I don't like. Uh, well, I haven't had any problem with the power plant integrity. And it'll give us a little boost of range. Hmm. Oh, let's hold off on that. That's an interesting idea. These, they have reinforced alloys. Will be improved resistance and all that. Life support, any benefit to having better... I don't think I need to worry about oxygen time unless I get attacked or something. Ooh, power distributors is available, but it just it's just heavier. Okay, doesn't look like I've got anything to upgrade immediately. All right, so what I'm going to do is do some trading off camera. Um, so we don't seem to have uh, trading in this station. It looks like I'll have to go back to the other station in this system in order to get goods to trade. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the trading off camera and hopefully I'll have a better balance with which to use in the start of the next episode. I'm not going to go any further into the galaxy. I'm going to be trading around in this location. All right. So with that, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.